So we, we can also do that things, yeah. Uh, in traditional way, or uh, when we, we, we have uh, several uh, uh, research on the social research, for example, you can see that researcher will came to the subject of the research, and he will ask the questions, and record the record the the session with the fit uh, with the, with the camera, maybe with the voice recorder and also with the video, for example. So what where what what when when he, uh, he do that one, we, uh, when I ask the question why you need all the data, not only just what uh, the statement of the respondent, but also the the interpretation, the expression, the video, and and so on. So because they they, they need to see. For, for for analyze one one issue is not only just using the uh, the statement but also on the the qualitative data based on the expression for example so we can say like they for example uh, okay we can we can see that statement is is fake or, or just you know something that that uh, it's just ignore something yeah something like that yeah so we can do that one so uh, we, we can do that that one with the qualitative data. So that's why the qualitative data is also very important. Uh, but yeah, what I want to say is the qualitative data mostly work for uh, data, data scientists that work in the uh, social science yeah, and or social area, uh, like in the, uh, in the economics, in the culture, psychologies, and, and so on. Yeah, so that's why. Um, I have experience last, last, last year, I helped one one startup to build their artificial intelligence for uh, recruitment. So what he do is the recruitment process. It doesn't need. Of course, you need to apply to the job, but uh, but after that, the rest of the process is directly only using the application. Your session interview, for example, is recorded. Yeah, using the video recorded. Uh, you will uh, uh, the avatar or or maybe some some bots in there will be ask a question with you with voice, and then. You need just to tap in uh, the camera and then you record and then directly save to their platform. And what he do, they, they do a lot of things Yeah, He do some algorithm to, to, to translate the voice into the text first. Yeah. And then the expression. So they have like face detection, like uh, the, the eye move and the, you know, the lips move and the expression and so on. So after that one, they, they make the, that qualitative data into the quantitative data with the algorithms. Yeah. So the algorithm in here is actually to translate the, the qualitative data into the quantitative data. And then we have a score. Yeah. Based on that score, yeah, we can analyze that the candidate is appropriate or the profile is matched with the job that, 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 that the company offered to them, for example. Yeah, so that would be the, the most important things. Yeah. And for that one, I will answer your the, the second question. Is it important in the research lab? Yes, very important, especially in the big data uh, issue today. Yeah. So we're not only just collecting the data in the quantitative zone, but also we do in the qualitative zone, which is unstructured data. And then we use the, our uh, capability in algorithm development implementation to, to make the quantitative data and then uh, and then to, uh, and we have the, the, the uh, the result of score. It's also used for, for example, for example, in the social media monitoring. For example, yeah, um, I built a start update. Uh, for example, uh, using the artificial intelligence, also uh, collecting data from the Twitter and the, from the Instagram. Uh, you can access Toba the AI. Yeah? Just just uh, try if you want to do, and then you just the user register, and then you just use you you just need to 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 uh, you know to set your your keyword and then the keyword will be work for the engine to collect the data to the twitter and instagram directly and then after that uh, we do some uh, a lot uh, you know uh, data uh, processing and data processing the next data processing and in the in the end we will have a you know you have a sentiment analysis competitor analysis engagement analytics and scoring analytics for the, all the activity that we, we, we try to find out in the, in the social media. So that's get people work. So in this, in this step, yes, we, we make a product for, for artificial intelligence, but actually in the research, this is very important step, yeah. So you can see this is the differentiation, yeah. Because if, if we go to the, to the old way research, I call it, yeah, old way research, we, 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 your, your lecturer or your supervisor will be asked, do you work with the qualitative data or quantitative data, yeah? 
if you quote on the qualitative data, yeah, you, you only work with some of the, you know, uh, scoring analysis, yeah. Uh, or maybe in the quantitative, you go to the statistics directly to the statistic data, for example, uh, statistic analysis, for example. So that's that we've been the problem. So in in the in the big data analytics, yeah, we we we, we more than that, yeah. So we will combine and then we make we make the data more you know more more wide and and we combine the structure and unstructured data and then uh, you can go to the to the to the rest of the of the process uh, using all that all that combinations yeah. so that was very important yeah. okay. that's very uh, thank you for the question that's that's my question any question others please Okay, you're welcome, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, so we I will give you some example how uh, is it it's work here yeah, for 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 your research here. Yeah. Uh, in here I have an example for you. This is the example how uh, what is the form of the data set that we can actually we can use from uh, data in preview. I always I very very impressed with this one actually using the data in brief because. When I take a look about the data in brief, for example, like this one hotel booking de uh, demand data set, yeah, uh, we can have a lot of uh, information on it. So this is like the example how how the the you know the data set is published, yeah. So this is like uh, from the yeah this is like uh, actually like uh, like like Sarah question yeah upon the qualitative and quantitative uh, uh, survey. This is like a data survey, collection of data survey uh, from the COVID-19 related knowledge, yeah? attitude and practice among Indonesian undergraduate students. Yeah? It's very interesting because you can see in here, uh, they, they do the, you know, uh, the abstract, uh, it consists of uh, information about the, uh, you know, the, the brief description of the data set, yeah? and then you will find also the specification tables, yeah? What is the, the content of the data? It will be consist of the specific uh, tables uh, to uh, uh, call it uh, components, yeah? Like what is the specific subject area is in health psychology and social psychology type of data. This is like using the primary data will be in the form of the tables and then how data were acquired, yeah. This is data was acquired using an online survey platform using the Google form. The questionnaire is provided as a supplementary file. What is the data format? This is like a row, analyze, and filters, yeah. Uh, within the form is like descriptive and inferential statistic. What is the parameter of the data? It, the survey data were obtained from, well, 6,000 and about 249. 249 respondent of Indonesian undergraduate student with internet access and then uh, to ensure that student is, is 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 appropriate only student who have department and faculty approval can access the survey yeah so it will be make the the the, the respondent is very high qualified respondent and then we also a description of data collection uh, the data was conducted through an online questionnaire which was delivered to undergraduate student Indonesia using the combination of purposive and snowball technique had to select the respondent via WhatsApp. Yeah. So that's, we, we need to uh, clear up all this one, yeah. And then we do the data source locations, yeah, region, uh, what is the region and what the country, and uh, the data accessibility, yeah. So data sets is uploaded in Mendeley repository and so on. So, and then we state the value of the data. The data are important because this is the first survey that involved thousand of participants uh, so far yeah so we need to to have the distinct of the data 
And then the data will be useful for researchers who want to compare with similar studies on COVID-19 related knowledge, edited practice for other countries around the world. Yeah. And the data will be valuable to researchers who want to examine, examine the relationship between socio-demographic knowledge, attitude, and practice of COVID-19 among undergraduate students. Yeah. And detail of the analysis data are beneficial to enhancing institutional leaders, policy makers, and etc. Yeah. So you can see that uh, the researchers want to, to add all these things. And then this is the data description, data set provide, insight information based on survey data knowledge, and etc. Yeah, you can see in one, uh, we have individual demographic, item measure their COVID related knowledge, sex item measure their COVID related attitude, and, and of course other things. Yeah. And then he gives some overview about the quality of the data tables. Yeah. Like for example, is a socio demographic characteristic of the participants. Yeah what the variable like gender uh, the gender itself the age yeah placement uh, spend year in university nature of educations and occupation and so on so that you can see in here he, he want to try to to you know to, to to discover all the things here and then uh, the experimental design material and method the research adopted attributed online plus sectional survey design yeah so the, he he do something something uh, the explain about the the experimental that he designed to do that one. So what the question that you use, and then uh, he gives some analysis about uh, the percentage of the correct answer and the wrong answer. It's very simple actually, but very descriptive. And then and then the type uh, they also have the you know uh, have a. The another uh, question about the infection prevention, for example, it also seems, yeah, uh, it's different because he's using the three option from disagree, not sure, until agree, yeah, this is also the same. And then he also have the type of four about the practice related to COVID-19 infection prevention, yeah, he have uh, 12 item questions in here and two uh, the variable from the network occasionally and always yeah so that would be also uh, good things yeah so this is the table five is also same yeah correlation between score of knowledge attitude and practice and table six is also same things so you can see in here this is very simple yeah and then uh, we declare the competing interest and then uh, ethics statement and and then and then you can see in the you know the uh the another uh uh demographics difference yeah that he he, he try to, to describe about the data so you can see in here the when when we have all this uh you know uh, the information this is also same yeah using the linguistic regression analysis uh to 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 to, to came out with the the quality of the of the data so and then sequential regression analysis of course yeah so it will be more make uh, uh, the user and uh, the, the other researcher that won't use this this article is very you know more 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 confidence yeah it's it's good because it's good yeah and then and the acknowledgement of course and then the some uh, this is the you know if we have the supplementary material uh, we need to to have this one too and then the the reference yeah so this is like the example how how the the work of the data set description is very important yeah so. Yeah, this is one of the, you know, uh, some of the duty or job data scientists to provide all this information if you want to, to have a good uh, quality of data sets. Yeah, so, and if you, you be the, the user and, and want to, to use the data set for, for your research, yeah, you need to take a look at all this component, yeah, for you to, to, to see this, this one. Okay, any question for this point? Okay, no. So, okay, next is I will explain about the next agenda. So, because we are in the sixth week, uh, the, the, uh, the week number six, yeah. So, we, we only have about two, two, uh, two weeks uh, before the mid -sem. So, actually, I will, I will give you some information about our mid -sem. So, your mid actually is, I would like you to challenge you to, to uh, the, 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 the subject is to collect the data from the source and produce data sets. You can work with your 
your team, the previous team that use the, uh, you know, the, the tools or the, the technology that you have present and use that tools for collecting the data. So if you have, for example, uh, I have, um, or maybe if you, you have any difficulties about the tools, you can, you can change your tools to others. But the most important thing is you still work with your, 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 your group and then try identify which, which uh, collects a data collection that, that, uh, that uh, now you can, you can do in two weeks. Yeah. And then I will specify that your, your data can be like in the, in the area of COVID-19 data. It's not always about the disease, yeah, but you can work with other side, for example. Let's say uh, last time I have worked with uh, same issue in the COVID-19, but work for collecting the uh, news portal articles that have, uh, you know, publicity about COVID-19 things in the every area in Indonesia, for example. So I using the Apache Storm to do that one. I, I scrapping from the, you know, uh, scrapping using the Python uh, to work with about 10, uh, for example, 10, uh, 10 news portals, and then from the tech.com, compass.com, and the comparan, and then collect the data. So that would be like that one too, can be, yeah. And then it's also, you can work with the others, others, uh, uh, others area like for example what is your point interest for example in sport for example uh, culinary is also is okay and and etc but wider wider uh, wider uh, interest yeah and then i would like you to collect the data using some of the approach that you you, you can discuss with your friend and then for your submission for your mid sem i need you to to you know to uh, uh, to, uh, to, to, to write down in the, in the, in the report that use the, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the research papers, uh, the research paper formats. Yeah. So I will give you some format in the, in the, uh, in the, you know, in the, uh, in the airlock. Yeah. But the most important thing is, uh, you, you need to, to discuss with your friend first how you utilize your current uh, technology that you has present before to support the activity to collecting the data and then you will explain the process into the papers yeah into the papers so uh, if you can work uh, uh, from now and then uh, next week i will give you some presentation time uh, to to have a feedback first and then after you have a feedback from me you can enhance the quality you can enhance the completeness and then when you have a mid sem you just uh, submit to the to the to the to the, to the, to the mid sem yeah so that will be our scenario uh, any question about it Okay, no question. Okay, if okay, no question. If you have no questions, uh, for today's session, I would like the rest of the uh, time of for this course is to to have opportunity to discuss with your friend, yeah, by your own uh, to decide which which what is the plan of your your uh, you know your your papers, yeah, for for the mid sem. So. Please, if you have uh, any question with me, just uh, give me your question through the email or WhatsApp, and I will try to respond it uh, as soon as possible to help you to understand about what the uh, what the methods of this tax yeah for the for the mid -send. Of course, I will give some explanation. Uh, I will write down in the log yeah as your is your instruction, your detail and technical instruction 
for your for your submission yeah so even you work with your friend as group but you need to submit individually yeah so, so that will be very important yeah okay okay so please continue the session with your friend and then uh, discuss with your group about this this part and then make some uh, you know progress uh, in the you know draft of the paper or maybe presentation uh, next week and then i will let you to share what you want to do and then what you you has done and what you need to done uh, from the next step and then we will discuss it on the next session and then uh, hopefully after that uh, in the time of the mid time you just need to to submit okay okay thank you very much for this morning session uh, and i will close the session uh, thank you very much and see you next week uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam sir thank you sir thank you sir